Hey guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Today I'm back with a new, or with two new chapters of Sweet Deception on episode. Um, I don't know which part this is, but we're, today we are going to be reading chapter 7 and chapter 8. So, without further ado, let me just get it started. Right, so this one says food, wine, ends, and flirts. Don't know what that's going to be. We'll see. Let's go. Here we go, chapter 7. Together. Okay, we have ham and cheese sandwiches, bagels, cookies, donuts, grapes, apples. Please tell me you didn't forget the wine. What kind of outdoor meal expert do you think I am? Of course there's wine. Red and white. Wait, what if Regina is vegan? I'm vegetarian, but thanks. Relax, I packed some tofu sandwiches too. Patrick, I know you mean well, and you really want to set a Petra with a nice girl, but... But what? You can be a bit pushy at times. Just let it unfold naturally, okay? Let them be. Fine, fine, I can behave, I guess. It's delicious, Patrick. This does mean I get a free refill? I don't know. How many can you handle before going on a caffeine frenzy? Oh, please. Like you can't sleep at all with how much coffee you drink. I get my regular five hours tonight, thank you very much. Regular five hours? Girl. I know I was worried things were so weird between us at the start. But the moment we started talking, it felt so natural or even weirder. It felt so natural. Hell yeah. So natural. Like, we've known each other for forever. And we've been talking to each other every day. Hey, did you guys know there's a hidden room behind that door? What? Where? Yeah, there's a hidden library back there. I mean, it's publicly accessible, but not many people know about it. And how did you discover it? My dad told me about it or FBI training. My dad told me about it. <laughs> That was fast. <laughs> uh, my dad told me about it. His... He was a history buff. That's fascinating. Well, then follow me. What are you... Shh. Let them go. Oh, wow. But you look at that. I seriously had no idea this existed. Not many people do. My dad told me they never really intended to hide this, but it turned out to be a well-kept secret. Just like you. I turned around to reach the books. Don't you just love the scent of old books? What are these books anyway? Oh, just a billion versions of the Constitution and a bunch of other legal and historical texts. She reaches her hands to grab a book from the shelf. The history of witchcraft? Wow! I turn around and there she is, with her hand on the shelf. I didn't even notice it's getting this close. It's getting steamy up in here! It seems she didn't notice either, because I can see the surprise in her eyes. As she raises her hands to my face, her eyes drop to my lips. You smell so good! But thank you! I feel like I'm bathing in honey in autumn when I'm close to you. Oh, I did not really like that one. Autumn mixed with summer rain. The chemistry is palpable and I can't deny the pull. We're not in a loud, crowded club. There's no one here but us and there's no sounds but our breaths. If I have any air left in my lungs. I know it's dangerous, and I, I want her, don't want her. Bitch, you know what we want, you know what we're gonna choose. I want her. Duh. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so bad. The way she looks at me, 
the sheer strength of her presence, but it's not right. Not now. What? Why not? What? Petra... Oh, right. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. Yeah, you're... you're right. I forgot. I'm so sorry. What's wrong? V... I don't know if I can keep doing this. What are you talking about? Petra, she... She almost kissed me yesterday. Oh! Oh! And what did you do? I broke it off, of course. She's a target, and she has a girlfriend. Phoebe, I love you, but this is your job. The girlfriend shouldn't matter. Put your feelings aside, you need to get information from her. If she likes you, if she wants you, you shouldn't hesitate. Go for it. Just do it. Play her and be done with it. We're not gonna do that though. <laughs> Two weeks before, a new remastered version of Kind of Blue. Christmas really came early this year. A good burger, some wine, and an evening with Mr. Davis. What more could a girl possibly wish for? That's me. Shut up, mind. Now is not the time. Oh, what now? Yes? I need you in San Francisco. Now. Now? Yes. Time to close the deal. I've booked you a flight for 6 a.m. Sharp. Take Woods with you. There'll be a team waiting for you there. You got it. Oh, and Petra? Thanks for looking after my girl. Oh, no. It's... a pleasure, sir. Hold on a moment, Patrick. It's Ashley. What? A booty call? Yes? Hey baby, I just wanted to check if you're free for dinner tonight. I'm actually just flying to San Francisco. I wanna get back to San Francisco. I'll call you when I get back. Oh! Why are you leaving? Work. And how long will you be gone? Could be two days, or two weeks, I don't know. Okay, fine. Just call me, okay? Love you! Bill McMahon is a 58-year-old, extremely wealthy man. He's been freezing his assets for decades, trying to avoid paying taxes. He's been also having several affairs throughout the years, without his wife finding out. There might even be an illegitimate child out there, but he doesn't care about that. He had some sexual assault charges raised in his youth. Everything that ever came up, he successfully covered up with money. TLDR, what? The worst possible scum of the world. And how do I know all this? XOXO, gossip girl. Okay, that's settled. You should be receiving a contract soon. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I'm always amazed by you young, smart, talented people with a vision. And we're amazed by your money. Now, go and make me billions. You can count on us, sir. Play her and be done with it. I can't do that, Victoria. Uh, I mean, Virginia. I'm sorry. I can't do that. But I can't do that. I just can't. Why not? Because it's not fair to her or I like her. We like her. I like her. And I don't want to take advantage of her. Oh my god, do we need to stage an intervention? Oh, I forgot. I got some new info last week. Why didn't you say something sooner, Louis? We're already running late. I don't know if we have time for this. What do you think, Phoebe? If you unlock this clue, you will get a special scene in chapter 9. Get the new info on Petra or end the meeting. We're gonna uh, get the new info on Petra. We can listen to what Claire found. I think it's worth it. Okay, let's hear it, Claire. A new clue. As you know, our people have been following Sawyer around for a while. With some patterns in her behavior, we've come to an interesting conclusion. What's that? Well, she seems to be avoiding specific places and situations. 
tall buildings, high bridges, even airplanes. All of these have one thing in common. Heights. Oh, you're saying she has acrophobia? Yes, Petra Sawyer is afraid of heights. Thank you, Claire. Thank you for the info, Claire. It will be very helpful. No problem, Phoebe. Listen, I... I wanted to... Oh, God. I wanted to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. I've always loved your dedication to the job. And I admire the work you're doing for this assignment. Thanks. Yeah, you don't often find agents who are that focused and driven. It's really easy to get lost in all the boring aspects of working for the FBI. I'm just trying to chase my dreams. I do like you as a person. What I'm trying to say is... Oh no... Would you be up for getting coffee with me sometimes? Oh! Uh, are you sure that's a good idea, Claire? Why not? It's just coffee. Nothing in the FBI guidelines against that. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, I... I wanted to clear the air between us. Oh? Yeah, I don't want you to get me wrong. I know it's being confusing in the library. To say the least. My point is, I have a girlfriend. Yes, I know. So, it would be best if we just decided to be friends. No, I disagree. <laughs> of course. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Or no, we're not good. We're good. Yeah, of course. You don't have to worry. I'm not getting any wrong ideas. And I'm perfectly fine with just being friends. But I'm not! Liar. Exactly! That's good to hear. Where is she? How good you, Regina? How good I what? Did I not clean the espresso machine? Did I leave the milk outside of the fridge? No! How could you not tell us it was your birthday? Oh. Thanks, Virginia. Come on! We made you an impromptu birthday cake! Is it really your birthday? Well, in that case, I want to do something for you. Oh? Right! So, that was chapter 7 and chapter 8 of Sweet Deception. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye, guys! We've been dancing for so long under the stars I feel that the grass will cut through my skin All the pills we take have seemed to prolong